Welcome to the Rose Smith of Chicago, Illinois, nonprofit home video and artwork creations. In this particular video, we will be looking at the 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars and its dome and rock outer wall stone rectangular window frame images that uncovers the 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars as seen in the original 1976 Viking frame 35A72 satellite imagery of the uh, rectangular stone mountain uh, image as seen with satellite imagery from outer space next to five African pyramids. The uh, rectangular face image okay, or stone mountain image of the 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars in uh, half of that area we see uh, white shrimp like facial features. Now uh, since this white shrimp like image is appearing within the red planet ball shaped sphere, we can deduce that the Sidonian pyramids and 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars is representing the one week old shrimp like fetus within the ball shaped female earth ovum origin back here on earth. So we see an African atom being created on Mars next to five African pyramids. Now when the, uh, the sun arrives over the 41.2 degrees north shrimp, white shrimp like mountain image of the first atom, okay, which represents the one week old fetus within the bar shaped female earth ovum as seen in biology 101. Okay, we see a 10 degree sunrise and when the sun shines on this 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars embryonic form, we see the EA shadow African face of Sidonia. In other words, a real black African face with nose, mouth, eyes, and chin. Now when we uh, flip the uh, EA shadow African face upside down, we see the chin forming the uh, top of the step pyramid in Babylon and in South America, which decodes the uh, geographic and astronomical and embryonic purpose of the global step pyramid Mercator projections of the book of Psalms, the 105th chapter, and 23rd uh, 23rd verse 12 sons of Jacob as they entered into ancient Egypt from the Babylonian still pyramid civilization of Ham which is located in modern Iraq now here's where we see the fourth son of Jacob that's recorded in the book of Genesis 49.8 as the Ethiopian lion of the tribe of Judah uh, so we see the fourth son of Jacob, or the lion sphinx, entering into ancient Egypt amongst the twelve sons of Jacob, where we currently see him today as he's couched down in front of the Isaiah 1919 Giza pyramids. Now, when we view the Giza pyramids from a helicopter, we see one, two, three group in a pyramid square basis. It's the same one, two, three group in a pyramid squares in which Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois, nonprofit home video and artworks creation, has discovered within the Dome of the Rock outer wall stone rectangular window frames. And they appear as one, two, three group in the pyramid squares flanking a central Ethiopian cross uh, that represent the cross shaped building structure of modern Lalibela. Where we see the one, two, three group in the pyramid squares as the globe earth outer space corners of the Dominic Rock octagonal roof equatorial perimeter of the basketball shaped earth. Only when you place the earth at your feet like a basketball and look straight down upon it and place the octagon in halfway level of the basketball, we see the octagonal equatorial per perimeters of the Dome of the Rock roof. Now, when we look at the uh, one, two, three group of the pyramid squares flanking the central Ethiopian cross, uh, that has a vertical rectangular section and a horizontal rectangular section, we see a square superimposed well, placed within overlapping the vertical and horizontal section. That's the Masonic square that appears in the Dome of the Rock outer wall uh, first level. Uh, so when you look at the Dome of the Rock, walk up to it with a camera, uh, you will see stone rectangular window frames flanking the door on the left and right side. The left stone rectangular window frame has two stone axes, one below the other. And when you draw the lines from each X uh, base uh, and uh, sides and split the uh, two axes, when you connect both of those lines together, the resulting image is a geometric inverted pyramid shaped UFO southern interlocking with a cube structure New Jerusalem which uncovers the National Space Administration Soho satellite images of a Jupiter sized 
uh, black orbiting cube structure of New Jerusalem around our sun. This exposes the book of Revelation 21.18 returning cube A structure of New Jerusalem that's connected to the Isaiah 19.19 Giza pyramid, lion sphinx of ancient Giza, Gaza, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. Now the stone face on Mars is uh, a part of the uh, comet Ison and uh, the book of Psalms 105th chapter 23rd verse 12 sons of Jacob entrance into ancient Egypt where we see the same five blocks stacked on top of one another that they form a step that you walk upon on the left and right side. Uh, we see it within the dome of the rock outer wall stone rectangle window frame being flanked by one, two, three group in the pyramid squares. So we see the uh, Ethiopian cross vertical and horizontal section with a, a square overlapping both sections. We see it generating the uh, five blocks stacked on top of one another on the left side and five blocks stacked on top of one another on the right side. In other words, we see the globe earth stealth pyramid Mercator projection of the 12 sons of Jacob of ancient Babylon and the South American stealth pyramids of Puma Punku. Now, the Puma Punku stealth pyramids uh, next to the rectangular wall of skulls in T uh, Tiunaco, we see the Puma Punku stealth pyramids. Uh, the upper top platform has a uh, the solid stone platform has the Ethiopian cross carved out of the platform. Whereas you could fit the uh, cross shaped building structure of Martin Ali Bella uh, base within the uh, South America upper stealth pyramid platform. So this means that the uh, Babylonian style pyramids of uh, the Book of Genesis 2 7, normally here the African Adamic race, is connected to the South American style pyramids by way of the Central Ethiopian Cross. Uh, globe Earth style pyramid Mercator projections. Now, which points all of the normal hidden humans that was created in Genesis 2 7 to the uh, 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars. Uh, next to five African pyramids and a pentagon. So this pentagon is uh, rediscovered back here on Earth, uh, up on the African continent. So we call, I call it the Pentagon 144. When you see the African continent from outer space with satellite imagery, it's much like you're looking at the Sidonian pyramids and pentagon. Now we see ancient ruined African faces next to the uh, Earth pentagon 144 uh, up on the Airview African continent. Now, when we go back to the um, face on Mars and flip it upside down, the 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars that was originally filmed in the 1976 Viking frame 35A72 satellite imagery of the National Space Administration. So when we flip the stone face on Mars upside down, the chin becomes the, the, the first level of the stealth pyramid in Babylon and South America and Puma Punku and in uh, the pyramid uh, in Saqqara in North Africa. So this is why we see the uh, chin as the first level, the lips at the second level of the stealth pyramid and the nose as the third level and the eyes at the fourth level and the forehead as the fifth level where the brain is located. So the brain is located within the base of the square pyramid. Uh, in other words, this is why we see seven vertical uh, squares I mean seven sideways orientated Masonic squares on the first level of the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, out of wall surface. So we see seven sideways orientated Masonic squares in the in the inner line going straight down. And then we see a stone rectangular window frame that has uh one, two, three grouping of pyramid triangles carved in stone in the stone rectangular window frame. Then we see the the, the uh rectangular window frame flanking the door to the Dome of the Rock. Uh there's only four doors to an uh, octagonal building structure that has eight walls. So when we look at the chief focus upon the Jerusalem Temple Mount, uh, stone rectangular window frames as being focused upon the globe earth stealth pyramid Mercator projection, then when we look at the Babylonian stealth pyramids in South America and the, uh, uh, I mean the Babylonian stealth pyramids in the Middle East and the South American pyramids, stealth pyramids in Puma Punku. We see that it was com commemorating the creation of the normal headed African Adam. This is the first time in which the Egyptian pyramids and lion sphinx speak of in relationship to the constellation of Orion. Now, when we talk about the uh, 
upside down stone face on Mars, we we also talk about the upside down human head. If you take your head off your shoulders and uh, flip it upside down and place it on the table, take a white marker and draw at your chin, that's the first step pyramid level, and your mouth is the second step pyramid level, the nose is the uh, third and the eyes are the fourth, and the forehead where the brain is located is the uh, a fifth. So when we talk about the uh, Dome of the Rock, Outer Wall, Storm Rectangular Winter Frames, uh, Eat the Open Cross Architecture, left and right sides is generating the five blocks in which you stack on top of one another that they form a step that you walk upon. So this is the Globe Earth Stealth Pyramid Mercator Projection appearing and within the Dome of the Rock, Outer Wall, Storm Rectangular Winter Frame as this flanked by one, two, three group of pyramid squares which points to the Globe Earth Octagonal Equatorial Perimeter of the Dome of the Rock Roof. Uh, outer space corners. Now, when you uh, draw a, 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 a octagon within a square on a blank sheet of paper, and draw a line from each corner of the square into the center of the, of the dome of the rock roof, you've just enclosed the dome of the rock within a huge pyramid. So this seems to, seems to be the chief focus of the doorway uh, uh, into the dome of the rock. Okay, so the chief focus in geometry and astronomy deals with the uh, uh, left and right stone rectangular window frames uh, flanking the entrance door into the dome of the rock located in Jerusalem, the octagonal building structure that has the golden dome. Now, what is this chief focus about in the stone rectangular window frames? Well, it's, it's talking about, well, the, well, the, uh, the, there's uh, the first level that has the stone rectangular window frames that has an octagon in one of them and then uh, it has three triangles carved in stone re representing the Giza pyramids. When you're looking straight forward at them, you see three triangles. So when we talk about the chief focus of the Jer Jerusalem Temple Mount was uh, the lion sphinx of the book of Genesis 49.8 at the uh, Ethiopian Council lion sphinx of ancient Giza, Gaza, uh, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. So that was the chief focus of the, of the Jerusalem Temple Mount. It had nothing to do with the Greek and Roman man-made image of Jesus uh, or Jehovah. This was later brought in by the book of Daniel 8 12 Greek and Roman conquerors over the biblical Holy Land areas of Giza, Gaza, Gath, Ekra, Ascalon, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. As we look at the uh, stone rectangular window frame flanking the doorway, uh, there are four doors and uh, different uh, uh, images within the uh, stone rectangular window frames in the other three doors, flanking the other three doors. But I'm uh, focusing upon the uh, the, the uh, fourth door where we see the stone rectangular window frames flanking the left and right side of the door. And in this stone rectangular window frame we see the chief focus of the Jerusalem Temple Mount, 12 sons of Jacob. And the fourth son of Jacob who's now couched down in front of the Isaiah 1919 uh, Egyptian pyramids which look like one, two, three group in the pyramid squares when you look at the Egyptian pyramids from a helicopter. You see the one, two, three group in a, a pyramid square basis. Now this is the one, two, three group in the pyramid squares that appear in the upper level of the Dome of the Rock outer wall within its stone rectangle one frame. So when we look at the uh, Dome of the Rock like fourth door we see it's two stone rectangle window frames flanking the, well, uh, uh, the left and right side of, of the door. So the uh, rectangular window frame I'm going to uh, uh, focus in upon is the stone rectangular window frame that has two axes in it. Okay, a stone axe at, at the top of the rectangular window frame and another stone axe at the bottom, carved out of the stone uh, wall. Now, when you draw a line from each of these uh, 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 axes, uh, uh, bases, and uh, sides, and split the X because like there's like four rectangles making up one of the X in the top window and four rectangles making up the a lower X so when you split that rectangle and connect the lines and do the same thing uh, uh, to, to the bottom rectangle the resulting image is an inverted pyramid shaped UFO 7 that has a 5 point star at its square base now the uh, tip of the inverted pyramid 7 UFO pyramid shaped UFO image in the dome of the rock outer wall generated from the dual axis stone lines. So the tip of the inverted pyramid shaped UFO is interlocking with uh, the bottom X cube structure of New Jerusalem. So we have two elements within the dome of the rock window being generated from two stone axes. 
which uh, proves that these two stone X's was the uh, decoded uh, or, or um, well it, it was like a top secret master masonry okay of the lion sphinx of ancient Giza, Gaza, uh, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. So, when we look at the uh, inverted pyramid shaped UFO, we are looking at common ice and Chinese satellite imagery of uh, uh, Pyramid 7 form as it moves throughout the space in the 3,600 year orbit around our sun, which it turns out to be uh, the Babylonian uh, stellar pyramid globe Earth Mercator projections uh, image of Nibiru. Now, the image of Nibiru that appears within the uh, Babylonian Stealth Pyramid civilizations of Ham, uh, temple walls next to the Stealth Pyramids, is a six-point star that has circles representing planets around the tips of the six-point star. Okay. Now, in the center of this uh, Nibiru image next upon, upon the temple walls in Babylon next to the Stealth Pyramids, uh, globe Earth Mercator projections of the first African Adam. Okay, that's who's on board Nibiru, the pyramid Nibiru, you know, seven image, uh, as common ice in a 3,600 year orbit. That was spoken of that's a biblical light that existed before the world, and the biblical light that created the world. So, what's going to uh, bring knowledge to the uh, Afro American 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible temple? The only thing you're going to bring knowledge to them is if you focus them, focus their attention on the dome and the rock, out of the wall. That's where the lion sphinx geometry appears, and it appears in stone rectangular window frame. So he's speaking to the normal hidden humans that descended from Adam and Eve. What is the lion sphinx talk, telling the normal hidden humans that now populate the entire world today? Well, when you look at the stone rectangular window frame flanking the door, entrance into the octagonal building structure that has the golden dome up on the Jerusalem Temple Mount, the, well, there's many stone rectangular window frames that have pyramids and triangles. But the one that I'm focusing upon is the end game. Uh, a stone rectangular window frame. The end game. The end game. Stone rectangular window frame. Images of the lion sphinx of Genesis 49.8, tribe of Judah. It's, it's a stone rectangular window frame flanking the door. There's eight walls and four doors that you enter to. So the uh, fourth door has a stone rectangular window frame on the left, a stone rectangular window frame on the right, flanking the entrance door. And in the first uh, stone rectangular window frame, you see two stone exits, one below the other. When you uh, connect the, uh, the, the side lines of those exits, because the X, uh, uh, each X has four uh, uh, rectangle little stones. So there's two X's, one below the other, inside this stone rectangular window frame. That's the end game message of the lion sphinx to the normal hitting humans. Just so you 400 year old Bible, King James Bible thumpers, if you never knew the end game, the end game, oh, in the window of the Dome of the Rock. Now what's the end game? Once you connect the, the lines of the dual axis and stones within the rectangular window frame, you will see the resulting image is an inverted pyramid shaped UFO 7. Uh, that has a square base that has a five-point star of creation within it. If you slice an a, a apple, uh, take, a take a sharp knife and slice an apple perfectly in half. Now what you're going to see inside the apple is the seed forming a five-point star. So that means when you see this five-point star as a part of the vegetation uh, no, uh, 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 creation in molecules and atoms and DNA, now, so the end game deals with deciphering the, the uh, rectang stone rectangular window frames flanking the uh, entrance door on the outer surface of the Dome of the Rock octagonal building structure. It was left there by the Ethiopian lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah that's referred to in the King James Bible in the book of Genesis 49 chapter and 8 verse. And 8 verse. As the uh, lion of the tribe of Judah who cast down as a lion and as an old lion. So when we talk about the end game, we must focus upon what the end game is all about. The end game deals with two stone rectangles, uh, 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 two stone axes, one below the other, carved out of the solid wall within the stone rectangle window frame. And, and once you connect the lines of the axes together and split them, the resulting image within the stone rectangle window frame 
on the outer wall surface of the Dome of the Rock in uh, the Middle East, in Jerusalem. The resulting image within the stone rectangular window frame is an inverted pyramid-shaped UFO. An inverted pyramid-shaped UFO. I'll call it the Pyramid uh, uh, 7. And to square the pyramid-shaped UFO is a five-point star of creation. That's the star of Islam. The end game is in the stone rectangular window frame. And now, what is this inverted pyramid-shaped UFO doing? Well, it's pointing to the tip. The, it, it, it's a downward pointing pyramid. So it's a long pyramid. You got you to gotta understand what I'm talking about. That's, that's what's generated in the stone rectangular window frame. An inverted pyramid seven shaped UFO. That has a square five point star at its base. And so, so the tip of the pyramid is, is uh, pointing, interlocking with a cube at the bottom of the stone rectangular window frame on the outer the wall or surface of the dominant rock within the stone rectangular window frame. So what's the end game? Well, it's a pyramid shaped UFO seven interlocking with a cube structure at the base of the rectangle. That's the end game. Case closed. So for all you 400 year old mistranslated kings and Bible temples that never knew what the end game was all about to the uh, Greek devil that now controlled the entire normal hidden human race that populated that now populate the world. So you say, why is that the end game? Take a dollar bill out your pocket. That's why it's the end game. Take a dollar bill out your pocket. Take a dollar bill out your purse. Now turn it uh, uh, up over. What do you see on the back of the dollar bill? A pyramid. Whose eye is at the top of the pyramid on your back of the dollar bill? It's a white man's eye. It's Daniel 8, 12, Greek and Roman conquerors over the biblical Holy Land. That's why the lion spring stone rectangular window frames flanking the doorway into the Dome of the Rock is the end game message for the normal hidden humans that now populate the world. So what's the end game message? Okay, take the dollar bill out your pocket again. Now put it on the table. Do you see that white man's eye that conquered Africa? That's referred to in the book of Daniel 8, 12 as the Greek and Roman conquerors over the biblical Holy Land areas. Of Giza, Gaza, Gap, Ekron, Escalon, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. Now take that pyramid off the back of the American dollar bill. Now hold that pyramid up in your left hand. You see a white man's eye at the top of the pyramid. Now go to the dome of the rock, stone rectangular window frame. Blanking the door. Now take that inverted pyramid out, out of the dome of the rock. Now hold it in your hand. Now you got to be careful. Because the, the dome of the rock uh, inverted pyramid 7 shaped UFO. Is actually in orbit around uh, uh, around the sun. Okay, you want to know what the end game is to the Afro Americans that now populate the entire world. Larell Smith of Chicago, Illinois, nonprofit home video artwork creation, going to tell you what the end game is. Once you take the eye, the pyramid off the back of the dollar bill, hold it in your right hand. A white man's eye is in front of the pyramid uh, apex. In front of the sun, throne of God, they actually created the nine planets within our solar system. Now go to the, the Jerusalem Temple Mount and uh, look at the fourth door. You know, you only got four doors and eight walls to the octagonal building structure that they're going to go. So on the fourth door, you see a stone rectangular window frame flanking the left and right side of the door. The right rectangular window frame has three triangles carved in stone, which is the Egyptian pyramids. When you look straight forward, forward at the pyramids in uh, Africa. North Africa, you see three triangles. So that's the right stone rectangular window frame. Now keep the white man uh, in your left hand at the top of the pyramid. Uh, with that You took the pyramid off the back of the dollar bill and hold it in your right hand. The white man eye is at the top of the pyramid that conquered Africa. You want to know what the end game is? That the African thinks left his message for the normal hidden humans in the stone rectangular window frame. Uh, flanking the doorway that you enter into the dome of the rock. Now, if you take, there's two stones in the uh, uh, left stone rectangular window frame that's flanking the door. Each stone, is, uh, one X is above the other. Two stone X's carved in the stone rectangular window frame. Once you connect all the lines of these uh, X's and split them, the resulting geometric image is an inverted pyramid shaped UFO 7. that has a square Islamic uh, star 
at this square base. I mean, so the square base of an inverted pyramid shaped UFO is the Lion Sphinx in game message to the normal headed humans that now populate the world. So, in the inverted pyramid seven shaped UFO that has a square base, and in that base, uh, you see an Islamic star of Islam, five point star of Islam. Now, that inverted pyramid shaped UFO, the tip is penetrating a cube at the base of the rectangle, the uh, stone window frame. This generated from the uh, uh, second stone X in the wall. Now, what do we have? We have the white man in the left hand, if you take the pyramid off the back of the American dollar bill, his eyes on top of the lion sphinx of Judah pyramids in Ethiopia. The Ethiopia lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah. The white man conquered Africa, Ethiopia, Giza, Gaza, Gaza, Econ, Ascalon, Palestine. So hold the white, uh, so hold the pyramid that you took off the back of the dollar bill in your right hand. And you'll see that the Greek conquerors that wrote the English Bible and denied the lion sphinx in front of the Isaiah 1919 Giza pyramid facing east toward the sun throne of God. Okay, now if you take the, uh, the two images out of the end game message of the lion sphinx within the stone rectangular window frame flanking the entrance to the door of the uh, octagonal building structure called the Dome of the Rock that has the golden dome in Jerusalem. Okay, if you try to take the, uh, the pyramid out from the uh, stone rectangular window frame uh, flanking the Dome of the Rock entrance, guess what's going to happen? The the cube at the bottom of the uh, w w the inverted pyramid shaped UFO seven that cube will not let you take the uh, pyramid out of the, the dome of the rock. Now you say why? Because the cube my dear friend, is inside the sun. Now, when we make this clear to the normal headed 400 year old King James Bible temples that refuse to give up the Greek and Roman white man based image of Jesus and Jehovah as God, which is false, then they got to face the cube in the Dome of the Rock stone window, flanking the entrance door. All the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible temples have to face the cube. You say, what you talking about? It's a cube that uh, uh, now is in orbit around the sun. It's the size of Jupiter. So that's the cube structure of New Jerusalem. Every Christian in America is waiting on to return from outer space. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? You can't take the pyramid out of the inverted pyramid seven shaped UFO out of the stone rectangular window frame without moving or touching or dislodging the cube. So what does that mean? It means that the black cube structure of New Jerusalem in which the modern National Space Administration Soho satellite imagery has filmed in orbit around our sun is protecting the inverted pyramid seven shaped UFO. Now who's connected to the inverted pyramids? Well now just so that to let you know what I'm talking about. The end game of the lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah. Uh, the Ethiopian lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah. Now what happened? Well, in order to see who's in that pyramid, right, seven UFO, you must look at the Chinese satellite imagery. So the py inverted pyramid uh, seven shaped UFO interlocking with a cube within the stone rectangular window frame. And both of these images, the pyramid seven shaped UFO and the uh, cube is generated uh, within the stone rectangular window frame dual stone axis. So it's a uh, Two axes within the stone rectangular window frame, one below the other, and both was carved out of the stone wall. When you connect the lines of each axis uh, and split the, uh, because each axis has uh, four uh, rectangular uh, sections. The resulting image by the dual axis is what? Within the dome of the rock, uh, stone rectangular window frame flanking the entrance to the door. 
Uh, it's an inverted pyramid seven shaped UFO interlocking with a cube, a structure in New Jerusalem. So this is why I talk about the master masonry of the Lion Sphinx within the stone rectangular window frame. Now what happened? If you look at the dome of the rock from a helicopter, the early 1930s entrance gate area, you're going to see uh, the 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars. At the book of Genesis 2-7, normal here to ask Canal. And you're going to see the uh, Pentagon, okay, next to the uh, 41.2 degrees north stone face on Mars that represent the normal here to African Adamic race that was created, okay, by the people in the queue. Okay, now uh, it's, it's important that I refer to them as people at this point because there are extraterrestrials in the queue with long watermelon shape ears, and there's elongated headed African that was created. Uh, in Genesis 126 as the first African Adam. Now the face on Mars is Genesis 2-7 normal headed African Adam. So there's two types of humans in our solar system in relationship to the cube and the inverted pyramid shaped UFO. Now the Chinese satellite imagery uh, reveals the uh, area view 1930 Jerusalem Temple Mount entrance gate adjacent uh, area. So behind the entrance gate uh, early third, early 1930s era view through the Temple Mount entrance gate area. If I seen from a helicopter. So behind the entrance gate, uh, you see a stone rectangular building, and uh, it's generating a white road. Behind that, you see a cube building, uh, cube building structures, a cube dome building structures or dome building structures. And these dome building structures generating the black African face. So when you look at the early 1930s era view Jerusalem Temple Mount images, uh, you see an elongated headed African ancient of days, a 0, 0, 0, 11, 10, 75 face image of the first Adam. So you say, wait a minute, are you telling me the ancient pharaohs that had long white in shape heads is connected to the dome of the rock? That's right. And the uh, uh, Chinese satellite image of Pyramid 7 form of common ice. So what's the cube then? And then we have the pyramid seven shaped UFO. Okay, no, I'm not finished. Because the cube is in orbit around our sun as Nibiru. That's the Babylonian stealth pyramid civilization of him that left the uh, Iraqi Babylonian uh, stealth pyramid civilization of the first humans that populate the earth. The normal hidden humans, right? That was created in Genesis 2-7. And we see that African Adam as the normal... Uh, uh, human, a face on Mars, 41.2 degrees north, next to five African pyramids. The same five African pyramids on Mars, when you connect the squares and the uh, potum lines together to one another, the resulting image is a rectangular king's chamber dimension that decodes the pyramid in Khufu back here on Earth, where we see inside the pyramid a rectangular king's chamber. But when we talk about inside the dome of the rock wall, stone rectangular window frame that flanks the door in Jerusalem. We see two stone axes, one below the other, and when you connect these lines, the resulting image in that stone rectangular window frame is an inverted pyramid seven shaped UFO interlocking uh, with a cube, the cube structure of New Jerusalem. So that's the line thing speaking to you from the Dome of the Rock uh, stone rectangular window frame, dual stone axes within the rectangle. Now, the uh, stone rectangular window frame flanking the right side of that uh, door, it has three triangles carved out of stone. And when you look at the e Egyptian pyramids, straight forward, uh, up on the Giza pyramid complex, you see one, two, three triangles. Now this is just the door area I'm describing to you up in Jerusalem. Okay? Now, uh, common ice and Chinese satellite imagery, when you look at my video, uh, you'll see that on the outer side of this huge pyramid, that's surrounded by a ball of white light. That's the sun protecting common ice, if you didn't know it. Okay. If, for all you 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible Thumpers, the sun, throne of God, as referred to in 1 John 1 1, as the biblical light that existed before the world, and the biblical light that created the world, it's surrounding common ice in Pyramid 7 form. 